the next pattern is called an X caddis. So as the name implies, this is, represents an adult, or actually an emerging adult caddis fly. A very, very important bug uh, to, to the world of the trout. Uh, fairly easy to tie, uh, and a very, very good fish catcher. It has for a tail some kind of, it's kind of a curly yarn. It's called Zelon. And it has a new technique we're going to learn. It's called a dubbed body. It uses animal fur, in this case animal fur, and some synthetic fur. It has a wing of elk hair, and then a head again of more of that dubbing. So once again, this is the X caddis. We're tying this on a size 10 today. So as on all of ours, we want to get the hook in properly. There, see, I hid the barb right there. Now we can see the barb is level with the ground and we're all ready to go. Take our thread over the top in all flies. Start wrapping back over it. Give a nice even wrapping for the shank. Get back near the point and we'll trim off that barb and then there we go. Now see how it's hanging down right over the barb. That's right where we want to be. It's going to come back up just about a couple turns. Remember I talked to you, we had that fuzzy yarn for the back. This is called Zelon. So we're just going to take some of it out. And same thing like on all flies, we set it on top. In between your thumb and forefinger, loose once. Forefinger, uh, finger, thumb and forefinger twice. Pinch, pull straight down, and there it is right on top of the shank. Then we'll take and wrap back again until it's right over that bar. We can trim off the excess. Remember, hold the hook parallel to the shank and trim. And this we're going to tri trim about, oh, about, if this is the body, we're going to go about a two-thirds of the length and give it a trim. So it gives just a little bit of a fluff back here. Now we're going to have a new technique. It's called dubbing. So what we're doing is we're using dubbing. So it's the product, and also the process is called dubbing. So it's a fur, a blend sometimes of animal fur, synthetic fur, or just one of each. So we're going to take off some of this, and then we're going to take and lay it on top of the hook. I like to moisten my fingers a little bit, and now we're going to twist it. And notice what we do. We, do, we don't go back and forth. We twist one direction. And keep twisting, moisten your fingers again if you like, you can see how that material starts to form and make almost like a little yarn noodle here right on the thread. So this is this process is called dubbing. Very very effective way of showing an insect body because it captures air, air bubbles, and it looks very very natural. So now that we have that on there we're going to wrap forward. So we go over the top, so now we're getting there and here we go. So right one right in front of the other if you don't have enough, you can always go get more. But we're gonna remember now we have a we have a wing to put in front and another head, so we have to leave plenty of space. If we have too much dubbing, we can always take it off. So I think maybe one more turn and kind of back it up there. That's good. So that's too much. So now we can take off. See how it just comes right off? And then a couple more wraps. There you go. And this this one, see, has kind of fuzzy. You want to leave that fuzzy because that's just, just the way a caddis looks. So now we get to tie in some, some animal fur. This is elk. You can use elk hide or deer hide. What we're going to do is take about something a little bit smaller than the diameter of the pencil. See how I'm pulling fibers back here? Get a hold of it, get down near the hide, and then cut it off. So now we have some fibers of elk. As you can see how these are all kind of uneven. We're going to eventually going to straighten those out with that hair stacker I showed you earlier. So let's grab all of these right by the tip first. And we have to clean out all, there's a lot of under fur. So I, if I go like this, you see stuff just flying around, little fuzzy things, and we don't want that in our wing. It's going to capture, this is a dry flag. This has to stay up and float. So this um, fiber, this elk fiber works very well for floating dry flies. So now we have our elk cleaned. We have our hair stacker. So you put it in tip first. 
Remember these two pieces are together. There, now they're in there. Now you put one finger on top, hold the other two, and we're going to tap that on the table. Wake up everybody in the house. There we go. And then we're going to tip it. Don't take it apart until you've tipped it. When you tip it, now you can see how nice and even those fiber tips are. Trout will really appreciate that. Okay, now before we take this out, we have to think one step ahead. Sometimes you want the fiber tips facing this way. Sometimes you want the fiber tips facing this way, depending on the fly. This fly, the tips will be facing this way, so that's the way we want to take it out of the hair stacker. So they're all pointing the way you're going to use them next. Now you carefully get a hold of them. Now you can put your hair stacker away, transfer it to your other hand, and then set it up. See how the tips, I didn't have to turn the, the fibers around, they're all ready to go right on the fly. This is going to be tricky because there's a lot of fibers, but it's still the same process. Okay, we don't want the wing too short. We don't want it too long. We'd like to have those tips come right about at the end of the body. You won't be able to see it, so I got the fibers in between my fingers and the same process. Pass my thumb by my forefinger, loose. Pass my thumb by the forefinger a second time. Pinch and pull. Now, while you still have a hold of it, if we want to keep it right on top, just make three or four or five more good wraps. And now we got our wing there. So now we're going to take all of this stuff, most of it that we can, go forward and make a couple of wraps right behind it. It's kind of sloppy, but we're going to trim this off. Okay. Now all of this extra stuff there, see I got it all? I'm going to bring it up and trim it close, but don't trim off your, your thread. We've all done it, and you'll probably do it sometime. And so we're going to neaten up that head a little bit, and then we're going to add some more dubbing up there. So this is where those little scissors are nice. And now to make a nice base for it, we're going to take and wrap. A couple more wraps there, right in front of the wing. Now we're going to get our dubbing again. Take out, well, a little bit, maybe about that much. See, it doesn't take much to make the nice thread a nice base and they're going to lay that on the thread and moisten your fingers and spin it. See we have a nice noodle of material here and we're going to wrap that start right at the base of the wing, start going forward. Okay now we're getting close to that head space so we have to stop. So now we're going to get our bodkin or ballpoint pen. Now it's time to half hitch. We we'll go around here over it once, twice, three times, we'll make this four times, make sure it stays, pull it up nice and tight, trim it, and then you're, there's your X-Caddis. If you don't, if this looks a little shaggy up here, you can trim it if you like. It's your fly, you can do whatever you like with it. But there you go, an X-Caddis, very effective pattern throughout, throughout the U.S.